What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HM Clothing. Welcome to another wonderful video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful umbrella circle dress in just simple steps. I used about two and a half yards of fabric to create this beautiful look. So depending on your size, you could need up to three yards or more. And also depending on the length you're going for. So this is just beautiful. Add pockets if you want. You can stone or bead your final project. And yeah, just add your own razzmatazz to it. So without much rambling, let us begin this video. For this project, I have about two and a half yards of Ankara fabric here. First thing we're going to do is fold this fabric into two this way. So putting the self edge on self edge, fold it into two. After which you are going to then form a triangle this way. Great. So now at this stage, we're going to start putting in our measurements. We need our shoulder width, we need the dress length, and then where the bust line is going to be. Those are the measurements, the key measurements we need for this project. We're going to start first of all from the shoulder width. We're working with 16 inches for our shoulder width. Remember that this fabric was folded into two. That means that the front is going to be one and the back is one. After placing it this way, we are going to get our shoulder width measurement. You see how I placed it? I didn't make it straight this way. You want to let this pointed part here be like in the middle and this one to just comes out this way. Okay, like a triangle sitting. That's how I placed this. Our shoulder width is 16 inches. You're going to divide that measurement by two and then we'll be having eight inches. So I'm going to place my measuring tape such that I'll be able to get eight inches. I think I've gotten it. This is about seven and a half, which is still okay. And then I'll just draw a straight line right there in the middle. Great. Remember the next line I said we need is the bust line measurement. For the bust line, I'm going to use 8 inches here. Okay, so I can already just curve and I need to slope this. I'm sloping the shoulder at the top. I'm curving the armhole. We're not doing a very structured armhole. And finally, we draw the neck area. For the neck, I'll be using um, the back neck. I'll use two inches for the back. The width of the neck, I'll use three and a half inches. So after cutting the back, first of all, then I'll now um, lower the front. I'll make everything just be the back, first of all, this way. Okay. Then from this point, this point here, we can start measuring out the dress length. For the length, I'm having 34 inches. So I'll just go 34 inches round in a circle form. very good so we can now cut this out so for the front i will let me just remove this out of the way and just cut this front like lower the front so that's it the back is higher than the front 
we can now join the shoulders and then join the side seams finish the hem at the bottom and we will then work on the sleeve we're going to be putting right here so okay so i was able to create just the small pockets still from my two and a half yards of fabric um i'm going to show you how to install the pockets using these projects that we're still working on together now to be able to figure out where you're going to be putting your pockets we're going to start measuring from the shoulder top here from this point right here i'll place my measuring tape and measure all the way to about 18 inches which is just about here and then that is where i'm going to be snipping on the side because that's where i'm going to put my pockets will start from there i have just one i'm going to be putting pockets on just one side because i just have one pair you're going to cut two pieces of your pockets and then we'll start sewing it in so from that 18 inches you're going to match the pockets this way so it's to each side of the front so taking the first one and i'm matching up the pockets So I'm going to take the second one too as well and match it up. Okay, now we can join up the sides. So I'll show you how to do the sides. Starting from the under arm point, placing your presser foot. You want to sew the side seam. So we'll go ahead to sew up the shoulders as well. So our dress is ready. The next thing we want to do is work on the sleeve. I'll keep this one away okay so here is the finished result of our simple dress our umbrella circle dress i installed a short sleeve to this dress hemmed at the bottom and this is how the inside looks like okay so you're just going to sew it as you usually would finish up with your serger or your weaving machine the neckline was finished neatly with a bias and it was hand tacked to give it very neat look on the outside of the garment so it's not looking as though there's no machine stitch on the exterior part of the garment remember to also create your belt with your leftover scraps of fabric so that you can always switch up the look of your umbrella dress Okay, so that wraps the end of this video. For other simple DIY projects that you can try your hands on, less than 30 minutes to finish, you can watch this video right here or this video right here. You need to incorporate more self-made clothes into your wardrobe. All right, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Give me a huge 
thumbs up if you did enjoy this video until we see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye